Uh, my name is Raja Gopaldis. I'm one of the uh, cardiothoracic surgeons at the university, and I'm the director of research for cardiothoracic surgery. Uh, tobacco has uh, several effects on the lungs, primarily because it is a component of several uh, products within itself, some of which are known to be very toxic to human beings, including some radioactive materials. Uh, tobacco in any form has an effect of, on the human body, but particularly the smoking form of tobacco has a tremendous effect on the lung. In addition to lung cancer, tobacco also causes collateral problems to the lungs such as emphysema, pulmonary hypertension, and as a consequence of that, it also aggravates right heart failure. This is further aggravated by tobacco's independent effect in causing cancers in the trachea, in the aerodigestive tract, as well as causing cancers in other parts of the body. So it is a cumulative effect, and uh, it is something of significant concern. The one thing to emphasize here, quitting smoking is important in any age, and clearly the fact is if you quit early, there is uh, more benefit to that. One of the things which tobacco does in, uh, in smoking form is it does cause mutations in the lining cells of the lungs, and these mutated cells eventually become cancer cells. Over time, when somebody is smoking, and especially if they are smoking for you know, a higher amount during a particular day and for a long period of time, these mutations tend to accumulate over time and one of these mutations eventually will become a cancer. By quitting smoking, these mutations can be halted. The one thing is whatever mutation that has occurred to that point may not necessarily go away, but it will certainly prevent the further aggravation of the problem. So quitting smoking will certainly halt the progress of these mutations which will eventually lead to cancer. In addition to that, problems such as emphysema, COPD, and right heart failure will certainly decrease once a person undertakes the uh, uh, task of quitting smoking. As physicians, uh, we um, are very compassionate with our patients and uh, we want to emphasize the best for them. There's a lot of difference between performing surgery for taking out lung cancer where the entire operation is under my control. Whereas when you're talking about somebody quitting uh, uh, cigarette smoking, it is a sort of sophisticated surgery. We are cu you're cutting the habit out of the patient. And in that particular circumstance, the patient actually becomes the surgeon. So they have to have the willpower to, able to be able to accomplish that. So in that perspective, it's a big responsibility. And sometimes um, advice is like cash oil. It's easy to give, but it's certainly hard to take. And um, certainly with cigarette smoking, that is very true.